Now grab those bowling shoes, brush off the dust. Bowling alleys now back open for the first time in months after this stay-at-home order shut them down. NBC4's Rob Sneed shows one business owner who says that he's taking the extra mile to keep his customers safe. The owner told me that he's not cutting any corners when it comes to keeping his customers safe. He says where the bowling balls are, there's a glass, and no customers are allowed beyond this glass. There's a very thorough cleaning process that occurs to keep customers safe. He says that he's treating this business like his own health depends on it. The governor shut us down, but we already started preparing, just following the news. And myself being a senior citizen, I was actually coming back from a Florida vacation when it really began to get serious and to break out. And it didn't take a genius to figure out that we'd better be prepared for it. NBC4 got a sneak peek at Columbus Square Bowling Palace before it opened its doors Tuesday. You could smell the disinfectant in the air as employees did last minute cleaning. And we really prided ourselves from the beginning doing something special that was above average. Owner George Haller used the last two months his business was closed to come up with a plan to keep everyone safe. They also placed signage reminding people to stay six feet away from each other and arrows on the ground to show them where they are allowed to walk in the building. In addition to keeping equipment clean for customers, they also placed down ropes to block off every other lane to keep customers six feet apart. And that's not all. Probably the biggest thing is the partitions that we've put down on the lanes mm -hmm. to. Uh, so that we could use every other lane. And then we've created these little rope stanchions here to create social distancing. There are 64 lanes, but only 32 lanes will be up and running. As far as keeping shoes clean, it's something they've always done anyway. He hopes his customers will notice how the staff are taking extra effort. And there's so few places to go. We thought if we go to the extra efforts, we're, we're confident that our, our customers will support us. The owner also said that this is very serious to him, the health of his customers. He's not taking lightly. He's going to make sure all social distancing rules are indeed followed. Local for you in Columbus, Rob Sneed. NBC4.